the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit as we gather together on this sixth Sunday of Easter, on this Mother's Day, we begin by asking God's forgiveness, for God is full of gentleness and compassion. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the heart. Grant, Almighty God, that we may celebrate with heartfelt devotion these days of joy, which we keep in honor of the risen Lord, and that what we relive in remembrance, we may always hold on to in what we do. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When Peter entered, Cornelius met him and falling at his feet, paid him homage. Peter, however, raised him up saying, get up, I myself am also a human being. Then Peter proceeded to speak and say, in truth, I see that God shows no partiality Rather, in every nation, whoever fears him and acts uprightly is acceptable to him. While Peter was still speaking these things, the Holy Spirit fell upon all who were listening to the word. The circumcised believers who had accompanied Peter were astounded that the gift of the Holy Spirit should have been poured out on the Gentiles also, for they could hear them speaking in tongues and glorifying God. Then Peter responded, can anyone withhold the water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit even as we have? He ordered them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known in the sight of the nations. He has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. And this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you, and your joy may be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I love you. No one has greater love than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I no longer call you slaves because a slave does not know what his master is doing. I have called you friends because I have told you everything I have heard from my Father. It was not you who chose me, but I who chose you 
and appointed you to go and bear fruit that will remain, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give you. This I command you, love one another. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate Mother's Day and we're called to recognize the many gifts that women are in the church. Women, as they did in the life of Jesus, played such a vital role in the church. John Paul II in his encyclical Redemptoris Mater, Mother of the Redeemer, wrote that in the light of Mary, the church sees in the face of women the reflection of a beauty which mirrors the loftiest sentiments of which the human heart is capable, the self-offering totality of love, the strength that's capable of bearing the greatest sorrows, limitless fidelity and tireless devotion to work the ability to combine penetrating intuition with words of support and encouragement, a loving, compassionate heart that's self-giving, strong, faithful, tireless, faithful, supporting, and encouraging. One of the greatest women of the church is St. Teresa Benedicta, better known as Edith Stein. Edith Stein was a Jewish convert to Catholicism who became a Carmelite nun and was murdered in the Auschwitz concentration camp. She was a great philosopher and her writings <clears throat> had a tremendous influence on a young philosophy student, Carol Wotiwa, who would become St. John Paul II. Edith Stein wrote a number of essays on women and the church Stein often urged women to look to their own mothers for insight into what it means to be a woman. She said the work of a mother is hidden for the most part and even its rewards are intangible. This is why Edith Stein looked to women to preserve within human society those spiritual values that can't be measured and that aren't always seen. Edith Stein wrote, it's not, it is not the, that the public achievements of women are unimportant, of course, but that women must not lose sight of those ends for which all other things are only the means. In one of her letters, Stein wrote, on the question of relating to our brothers and sisters, our neighbor's spiritual needs transcends every commandment. Everything else we do is a means to an end, but love is an end already since God is love. In the address just before Hitler's rise to power, Edith Stein urged a group of Catholic women to fight for these very truths. She said then something that is just as true today. She said, perhaps the moment has almost come for Catholic women to stand with Mary and with the church under the cross. Every woman, she claimed, is meant to be both companion, her spousal vocation, and a mother. And she's not saying that every woman should get married or that every woman should have a child. What she's saying that because of her close connection with human birth and with development, women seek and embrace what is living, what is personal, what is whole, to cherish, guard, protect, nourish, and advance growth is her natural maternal yearning. Women naturally focus on what is human and tend to give relationships a higher importance than work, success, reputation, and power. Stein wrote that the maternal aspect of women's vocation involves helping other persons develop into their fullest potential. And for those who are married, this will include their husband as well as their children. Motherhood is a universal calling for women, 
and not simply a task to be exercised with one's biological children. Women's concern for the good of persons must extend to all those whose lives touch her in some way. And so these are the gifts that women bring to the church, cherishing, guarding, protecting, nourishing, and advancing growth, focusing on what is human and giving relationships a higher importance than work, a higher importance than success, a higher importance than reputation, a higher importance than power. There are so many powerful examples of Christian witness given to us by some extraordinary women but the greatest saint of all, a simple Jewish girl whose complete trust in God enabled her to say yes, let it be done unto me according to your word. The greatest mother of all, Mary. And so we celebrate Mother's Day. We celebrate the life-giving love of motherhood. We remember the gifts that women bring to the church, the witness of self-giving, the witness of receptivity, the witness of patience, the witness of understanding, the witness of empathy, the witness of nurturing, and most of all, the gift of life. Happy Mother's Day. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sakes, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will, he will come, come again, again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come, amen. Jesus told his disciples that he is in them and in his Father as well. Therefore, we can be assured that we have a direct way to bring our prayers before our heavenly Father. And so for the church, that like the early disciples, we will boldly proclaim the Christ to others, revealing the movement of the Holy Spirit through our words and actions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For mothers, grandmothers, godmothers, expected mothers, that they may know the value of their nurturing presence in the love of their families, community, and church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those having difficulty discerning their purpose or calling, that they may recognize the Holy Spirit's movement in their lives, we pray to the Lord. For our sisters and brothers who are ill, remember in a special way Lydia Stempen in the hospital, and those who are suffering the consequences of the current pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, 
it hear our prayer. And for all those dear to us who have passed, especially Marcia Oswind, Ethelene Both, Ellen Silvestro, Sylvia Clark, Ilya Iris, and Lola Vargas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our president, elected leaders, public servants, legislators, judges, those in the military, law enforcement, and members of our diplomatic corps, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for a greater appreciation of the gift women bring to the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh God, your son suffered and died for our sins so that he might lead us to you. Help us to follow him always as we entrust our needs to you. And we do this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May our, may our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to laud you more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. By the oblations of his body, he brought the sacrifices of old to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, 
and the Lamb of Sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it. He gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ, through him and with him and in him, O oh God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. 
Almighty and ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this paschal sacrament and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. And we'd like to give a blessing for all of our mothers. Loving God, as a mother gives life and nourishment to her children, so you watch over your church. Bless these women that they may be strengthened as Christian mothers and let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.